Go to the tools panel of Affinity Photo and you can select blur brush as well as medium brush. I'm not certain why it's not called medium blur brush. However, select that tool. All these various tools, width, opacity, all are available. Also, you can select any of the brushes in the view menu, studio and brushes. And what you can do, you can apply it and you can see the effect. It ends up sort of broadening, smudging the color, color of the image. You probably can see it better in the filter, but just quickly show, this means that you can apply your medium effect just a local area. So you just want to apply it to this. Unfortunately, there's no strength feature or anything like that. So you can't sort of make it really intense like you can in the filter. So you apply it like that and you just, however, let's just go now to the filter so you can see it probably even better. So filters and then down to blur and then down to medium blur. And medium blur, I think that's just great, nice. You can see the strength now, the color, you can see the there, that lorry there, and also the colors there. Everything has been very painter-like effect. It's about the only filter, I think, that really creates a really nice sort of like watercolor effect. It'd be great if Finity had more of those. And you can modify the setting. You can see you can really, but you still can see that. You can still see the green. It's all really, you can really push it to a limit. And even, let's see. I haven't tried it, 300. You can really make a very near enough gradient effects. So you can just put that, say, 200. So it's very much a gradient effect. You could do that with lots of colors and create some very interesting color effects using this approach. Click apply. What you can also do, you can go to filters and you can repeat it, though there's not much left to repeat, I think. But of course, actually works sometimes best with things like with noisy images. You might want to use it with that. That's a great use for it. However, layer and fade medium blur. So you can fade it. So you can bring it in, sort of gives it like, and you've got a whole range of overlay, add, etc. So you can completely wipe out or white out the design there. And you can modify that and see more or less of it. Just about make it out there. Cancel. However, let's go to another one. One thing I love about this is you've got symmetry, etc. I'm really not certain with the medium brush why you would need symmetry, but I guess there must be some uses. So let's just go to another one. Now with this, I'm going to show you, you've got filters, you can use that, blur, medium blur. However, you've also got layer and new life filter layer and down to blur. Now for some weird reason, it's the third item. Don't know why it's there. However, let's just change the rays, put it up to the maximum. So it's 100 and you can still see, obviously the color there, you can still see, if you were doing a Gaussian blur, you would not see much of that using this, this blurring effect. With this, you can, so you can see it at 100, you can still see, basically still just about make it. And even there, it's still see the lines of the thing. So it does make a great difference between the Gaussian blur and the medium blur. And again, you can vary the settings. And it's also useful, again, if I'm, let's push it up to, say, 500. And you can really sort of make some very unusual effects like that. But you also got blending modes, instant blending modes. So you can go through and say screen or add, create some very interesting sort of glowing effects, sort of make it diffuse light coming through there, which I think is quite nice. And you can run through. And also you've got this one, which I always love, divide. Divide is always one that's worth checking out. Sometimes it looks a bit ugly. Sometimes I think the colors that are generated, you can see the colors here, are really quite very useful. So also you can change the opacity as well. So you've got that and you can see the effect there. Well, what you can do, of course, is you can always apply it again. So you can go to layers, layer menu, and down to live filter layer. And of course you've got other ones as well, but you can use medium blur again. And this time, what you can do, you can apply that and you can see then smudges it takes, it takes a bit of time processing you can see it was thinking about it i was thinking is it going to do it and you can still see the line of the the arm me sitting there standing there whatever just looking at out of the window and it's i think it's quite uh and you still even that one at 62 and see that and that's i think it's a great fish and of course you've still got the option here for dark and color burn to create light and add and so on so i think color burn looks great there so that creates some very nice imagery just by using these live filters, which of course, as they're live, you can always remove or bring them back very quickly as well. Hope you found this interest. Thank you much.